Creative African Cooking Channel in the do by Fafa. Miawe Zulu. Kuban Dudua and Mikuilu. Fafa. Come on, you do and blow Fafa. I love the flavors. Hello family, thank you again for tuning in. Today I'm going to be having a barbecue with my Weber. My new Weber barbecue, that is just so incredible. Anyway, so I've got my steak, which came from Tom Hickson of Smithfield. Now, honestly, when I received the box, I was so excited. The meat, Charlie, no be easy now, you see what? And here I'm using my bar in to do holla barbecue rub absolutely incredible and that should be available from next week yes i know it is nearing that time anyway i'm just rubbing that meat with that beautiful barbecue rub as one does you know and of course i've got the gas barbecue ready next thing is i've got my rosemary that i picked up from the garden so to my saucepan i added some butter pieces of grains of saline and then of course i'm just adding my rosemary as you do so that infusion takes place as you can tell i've got my bell peppers there i've also got my corn on the cob representing this is just like a chilled day i just want you guys to enjoy me trying to barbecue mm -hmm. At this juncture, I mean, this is a storyline. I decided to place my focaccia, yes, in the barbecue. Yes, might as well, because I made it. I was like, mm, that's going to be nice and smoky as well. You know what I mean? <laughs> what goes on in this head of mine? Anyway, I'm sharing it. And it's a lovely story so far, I hope. <laughs> What I do love about this gas barbecue is the versatility that it offers. You know, I can grill, I can bake, I can just practically do almost everything on it, you know. So this is like a great outdoor cooking experience. I might as well at this rate make some banku on the side as well. <laughs> Now that I've been cooking everything halfway through it, it's time for me to cook my meat. But not until I do insert it with my probe and connect that probe to the gas barbecue. Yes, because this is the smart gas barbecue that links, of course, to the Weber Connect app. What I then need to do is select from the app the type of meat, the weight, and it would automatically calculate the temperature and cooking time to ensure that I have the best juicy steak. Yes, and it works for any kind of meat that you do have available. So I've checked it. I think I look like I'm happy with it. So now I can do some uncertain and um, yeah. But of course, my focaccia had to add a little bit of sea salt to the surface as one does. Happy with everything. And then here we have it. Let's sizzle away. And I'm just going to enjoy a glass of wine or maybe two. <laughs> The bell peppers looks done, so I'm just going to reserve that on the side. However, the corn on the cob still has at least about six minutes to go. Now, as per the Weber Connect, I've only got about seven minutes of my cooking time left for my steak. this point my steak has been turned over and i've only got two minutes left so of course i'm sprinkling it with my barbecue rub to give that smoke intense flavor absolutely and then i've melted some butter with some rosemary and grains of saline and you know i'm just like you know 
teasing the meat just so I can get that smoky flavor in there. But you know, why did I even add this to the corn on the cob which I was grilling in the husk? Of course it caught fire, you know. And um, thankfully, I mean, I had a bowl of water there, so I just transferred that quickly into it. But please do take unnecessary precautions when dealing with the barbecues and everything. Yes, absolutely. Um, I'm quite confident with what I'm doing, so yes, I can actually have that under control. But please bear that in mind. Anyway, my steak is done. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> At this point, I'm going to allow my steak to rest for at least about five to eight minutes so that the juices will just permeate through. And my focaccia and also corn on the cob have got at least about five minutes left so that it's ready. So once my steak has rested, I'm just sprinkling it with a little bit more of my barbecue rub. This is optional. And then, of course, my infused butter. So that has the Wintia or may I say grains of Salim infused in there with rosemary. And my simple lunch seems to be okay. Now let me check on my focaccia. Yes. That looks good. And my corn on the cob. I think I'm in business. Now you will think, where is the video of her cutting this beautiful steak? Guess what? I did not press a record button for it. But you know what? This will compensate. Now, when it comes to your barbecues and your grills and your salads, I've got you guys covered, including your ice creams. I'd leave links in the description box so you can treat yourself to a grill or two. Anyway, you'll find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat as Indu Dubai for a surprise by Sahai. Noel, thank you very much for my theme song. And until my next recipe, take care of you, be nice, be beautiful, be gorgeous. And guess what? I love you for you.